Okay. We have the academy. I'm very happy to welcome. Uh, it's my own uh, honor that uh, Mr. Kavindra and Dr. Manigandan has joined me in the online session. And uh, now uh, I request him to share his experience about him. Then we'll take it up. Please. So I am Kavindra Singh Sagar. Okay. And uh, I am from uh, Bijno district of Western Uttar Pradesh, Western UP. Okay. Uh, it is, uh, I think, now part of uh, NCR only. It is not much far from Delhi. Okay. Just 120 kilometers from Delhi, my, my place is actually. Okay. So I am from a village of uh, uh, Bijno district. And uh, my father, my family is engaged in farming only. They have been farming only. Okay. So uh, I am uh, from that uh, village background actually. Okay. So I have done my schooling from Navodaya Vidyalaya. You must have heard about it. Yeah, yeah, you know. You know yeah. Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya. Jawahar Navodaya, okay. And uh, after 12, okay. I moved to Jamia Mila Islamia, Delhi. You okay. must have heard about that university. Yeah. Jamia Mila Islamia. Islamia. It okay. is one central university there. Okay. okay. And I have done BA honors in economics. Economics, okay. And okay. Uh, after that, I did master's in international business. Oh, great, great. Yeah, and uh, I uh, I am net GRF in management, but uh, I have not gone for any uh, research actually. I joined uh, civil services. Oh, great. So when I, I was pursuing my masters, okay, uh, I started preparation for UPSC that time only. Okay. And uh, first attempt I gave in 2012. Okay. Okay. So in 2012 I uh, cleared prelims, I cleared mains. But I appeared for an uh, interview also, but uh, I could not secure any rank finally. Again, I appeared again in 2013. Okay. Same okay. thing happened in 13 also. I okay. cleared prelims, I okay. cleared mains. I appeared for interview, but again, I could not secure any rank. Okay. So in my third attempt in 2014, uh -huh. I got 748 rank. Okay. And uh, I, was, I, got it, uh, I got this uh, IPS. Okay, okay. I got IPS service and uh, my cadre uh, is Rajasthan. I got uh, Rajasthan cadre. Okay, okay. I joined this service in 2015, 2015. December 2015. Okay. And uh, after training, I was ASP uh, probationer in Alwar district of Rajasthan. Okay. For six months, I was ASP there in Alwar. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, I got posting in Jaipur Police Commissary. I was assistant commissioner of police in Jaipur for, for one year. Okay. Then I was deputy commissioner of police headquarter in Jaipur Police Commissariat for around 10 months. Okay. And after that, I was deputy commissioner of police West Zone in uh, Jaipur again for uh, 10 months. And uh, uh, for next one and a half year, I was uh, SP Baswada. Baswada is one okay. district of Rajasthan, which okay. is actually tribal dominant district. Okay. On okay. the border of uh, this MP and uh, Gujarat. Okay. And okay. for last seven months, I am SP Kota Rural. Rural. Okay. Okay. So this is <laughs> uh, I have uh, completed around six six to seven years uh, so uh, in IPS. IPS. Okay. Yes. That you were able to make so it this the much third experience. I have yeah, great. In great. IPS. Great. Yes. Great. I'm extremely happy. Dr. Mani, you want to uh, join before I I, I want to. Uh, Give a small slide presentation. Could you? Uh, sure, sir. You, you, yeah. you can please go ahead with the slide presentation. Okay. Sir. And uh, mm, tell me. Govindra, sir, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have <laughs> an acquaintance with you. Uh, Thank you. Really, really thrilled to have you because I haven't seen such a soft and a very, very gentle police officer <laughs> as in my life. So this is the first time I've seen. <laughs> so a, a kind of a, a wonderful uh, kind of a journey that you have given about your seven years of IPS experience. Okay. And I'm really glad to have. So Ramakrishnan, sir, thank you so much for, you know, establishing acquaintance with uh, such a wonderful person yeah. like Kavindra. Yeah, instantly we have to thank Lucas and uh, Miss Sara. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> right, it is good. So shall I go ahead? I'll start. I'll, I'll want to give a small yes, yes, sure, yes, sir. Yes, please. You know, I'm a chief mentor and director of this academy. Maybe I'm supported. We all my colleagues like Dr. Mani, we have got other list of, uh, uh, we have Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, uh, Colonel A.G., uh, Colonel Bala, uh, Ms. Sendamil. We have a, a, a number of, uh, my own school and school of seeds supports me in this venture. Uh, no more, that's the way he starts. So uh, how to really go about that? 
uh, fear no more, how to overcome it. That's a bit, that's objective of this going to be discussion. Uh, I thought I will combine two, three things. One is, what's the kind of literature which is a mirror of the society, how it talks? How from literature we can learn uh, this kind of, uh, how are the, the, the character of the protagonist, what's the kind of fear, how they are overcoming? And another thing, I thought I'll blend this with, the, like a practitioner like you, you have gone through this kind of phase, and how were you able to overcome? That you have shared that third attempt, you were able to make it. It's not that first attempt, somebody has passed prelims, and they're not even able to pass prelims. That's not the case with you. You were unique in the sense. You passed, you have gone through all the all the gates, all the hurdles you have passed, but finally, for the, we don't know the reason why somebody is unable to get it. Tell so you, you were, I think you are the right one to really talk about how to have the initial basic confidence, self confidence, and basic self worth. So unless until I feel I am worth enough, the, the initial is then the self confidence doesn't come. In spite of maybe the the family or the surrounding may really keep on harping upon. That's the kind of this program. Civil service, I find that it's unique in that sense, which is not the case with any other things. So let's not fear no more how to overcome it, that's a part. And this one of, I've taken the Don Quixote is to the heart. Basically this, the entire novel, which is written in 1604, written by Michael de Cervantes, is Spanish. This is one of, for the, lit for the leadership process, basically I always take it up. Here, um, I think you would have gone through this uh, novel, or if not, I request you to read. Uh, here, he becomes a little bit of, he loses a little bit of sanity, that's what the author talks about. Here he is seeing a flock of sheep and going to charge it, telling that they are all, Jains have become a sheep. Whereas his Sancho, this square, knows that he is a ground to earth reality man who is accompanying our Don Quixote. He is telling that, no, 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 they are all only sheep. But we, what is he is talking about? See, it is your fear, Sancho, said Don Quixote, yes. that keeps you from seeing or hearing properly. Because mm -hmm. one of the effects of fear is to cloud the senses. That's what. Yes. Basically, if somebody is going to have a fear, it clouds the senses and make things appear other than they are. And if you are so frightened, he is telling, withdraw somewhere and leave me alone. Because he is going to charge. You know, he will be charging. He will be charging, and got beaten down by the shepherds. He will break everything, his molar goods break it down, but he charges. But the concept here is, he always tells that we should have the, that kind of uh, that fear which clouds anyone. That, that's what I look at it. The fear how really it pulls some, some, someone down. In spite of the confidence, in spite of, maybe he would have prepared well. That's one part. Second part, I, I'm, I wanted to bring in uh, which is another dear to me, the Epicurus, another one of the great Greek materialist philosopher, unlike others, even Aristotle, he is not that. He talks about happiness is freedom from fear. What is happiness? He is talking about a good life is impossible if you fear. If you have keep on fearing on something, there is no, you don't have a good life. Similarly, happiness doesn't come. So if you want to be happy in whatever the profession you need, Overcoming the whatever the fear, fearfulness, fear we are talking about the anxiety, the stressful, lot of other things. You can always add a lot of synonyms to that. That's one part. Then here, if somebody is not able to overcome, I can recall about what has happened in the in Macbeth Shakespeare. Initially, the three witches comes down and gives a they foresee what what is the future for both Macbeth as well as Banco. Only the three witches only tells him, no, no, you're going to become uh, the king on a particular day. But he is only a, whatever the general. Whereas he is, Banku is asking them, who can look at the seeds of time? Nobody can see. See, so if we can look into the seeds of time and say, which grain will grow, which will not, then speak to me. Banku will tell. Mm -hmm. So, whereas the witch is going to tell, Banku, you will not be king, but your son will be king. That's what will happen in the Macbeth. So the one hand there is a fear. fear, fear is pulling you down, number one, and fear only if you have it, if you don't have fear only, it gives you happiness, it doesn't cloud you, you can move on, but we don't know, if you are able to overcome, who knows what somebody will become. 
like like you your parents would not have thought that my son will be reaching this kind of whatever accomplishment we don't correct, know correct even yeah. th- i I'll, i'll just uh, uh, please yeah intervene. please yeah please you can uh, see my my parents had <laughs> no idea <laughs> even they they also uh, <laughs> means they don't know even the full form of ips ips okay because okay they they they, they didn't have much idea what is this, this civil services actually okay and what our son will become how okay. he will become okay. what uh, how he have to prepare prepare for this thing okay. where he should go what coaching uh, he should actually join okay. so my parents had no this kind of idea okay okay they they just had some faith on me that whatever i am doing is going correct okay. and they always uh, supported me for that actually okay. and uh, uh, i failed in two attempts actually means i could not secure any rank okay. but they had faith in me they always supported me they yeah. always motivated me yeah. don't worry next time you will be able to make it okay so means they 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 are really actually innocent because they don't know what is civil services actually okay. because they are uh, they uh, means they are illiterate okay. uh, they have never visited any school means okay. uh, my uh, generation only is there in my family okay. who uh, is having some kind of exposure to uh, education and to some good colleges and university because my parents were uh, they are from village so they had no such idea but they always supported me they yeah. always motivated well, me they, 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 they had, had a, faith yeah. in me faith this in, whatever yeah. you are doing okay. just okay. keep doing you yeah. will be able to make it some make way it. okay great, so great. Uh, it is their motivation it is their support okay which today that i am able to achieve all these things actually great. so uh, really means uh, as it is uh, written here the seeds of time so right. time will actually tell tell yeah uh, correct where we all, where, all will go where, okay okay great dr mani you want to add anything dr mani hey me sir yeah i can hear you mani yes sir adding on to what sir has mentioned no okay. i am i am i'm frequently reading and i'm <laughs> on a repeated mode i'm reading the statements if you can look into the seeds of time okay. and then speak to me yeah. so time actually offers plenty of things sir yeah so as he rightly mentioned yeah. what happens is sir yeah. sometimes the self doubt crops into a person yeah correct sometimes because of parents as well because yeah. of the social community yeah. because of the messages that they are exposed to okay. and sometimes knowingly or unknowingly the parents can also self image problems okay so correct. and the person is able to get the self image okay and if the person is able to conquer the self doubt that okay. he or she has okay then only then the person will be able to spend more time in education okay so okay. during this time okay. if the person has to take real control of the time and okay. the person has to take real control of the self image of that particular person okay. that's what i wanted to add in this context so. okay thank you thank you i'll finish with one one, one slide i've got then we can go right so here right. this is also another favorite uh, which is like, as a cartoon uh, charlie mackey has come come out here he, there are there are four characters the boy the mole the fox and the horse so he is asking what is the bravest thing you have ever asked said as the boy the horse is telling help help said the horse the next if you look at another slide of what are the drawing asking for help isn't giving up said the horse if it refusing to give up so i request whoever wants seek help like i have sought help from mr kavindra telling me to come and share your thoughts that's why i put it that way because anyway because seeking help doesn't mean that no no i i i am not a back foot i don't know refusing to give up that's a kind of new dimension this author has added i felt uh, that's a unique thing which i keep repeating to my what are the students other things seek help raise your hands that's a raising a question raising your hands that's a basic thing in which you always you can start uh, um, now you can add uh, mr kavindra now what i will do i'll i'll, I'll close yes. the slides then we'll have a chatting just a minute yes 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 yeah, yeah. see uh, i want please. to tell you yeah. Uh, yeah, please i want to start with one thing actually okay. see this whole uh, process of uh, preparation for ups actually okay. Okay. we should actually enjoy it yeah, we should not think it is like a burden it's okay. not a burden actually we should start enjoying it like if you will go through the okay. whole syllabus of upsc okay and uh, it is it is very interesting actually okay 
is either it is history or economy or public administration or okay. geography okay it is very interesting interesting okay. means a uh, lot of things are going on around us okay fine and we are uh, preparing for upsc we are going through the ncrt we are uh, going through a lot of theories okay. we are uh, going through some concept of economy so everything we can relate with our surroundings actually okay okay like if if there is some concept uh, in economy like uh, some monetary policy okay or uh, uh, budget okay. anything okay. means all these things to lot of extent they they affect our sound surrounding sexually they affect us actually okay. so what should we do is we should try to interconnect everything okay 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 then only we will be able to enjoy it okay okay so if 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 we are just reading and reading and uh, we are not trying to uh, connect it with the practical things okay. so it will look like a burden border yeah but okay. if we okay. are able to connect it with our surroundings the okay. things are going on around us okay. and how all those developments are affecting our life how all those developments are affecting our society if we start thinking in that way if we start analyzing in that way then it won't be it won't be like a burden actually and we'll start enjoying it enjoying so it. i okay. think this whole process of uh, preparation for upsc is very interesting okay. and we should actually enjoy it enjoy so it. every okay. time okay. whenever uh, i used to uh, fail actually in uh, this exam okay it 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 used to give me a lot of energy actually okay again i'll go through the whole process okay. i'll uh, i'll again enjoy it okay. uh, i'll i'll again this is again a challenge for me that uh, i could not succeed i would by uh, by these much marks only i missed it so yes. again i'll okay i'll focus on this area okay i'll do even more effort i'll put more effort and i'll try to fill that much gap okay. so it 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 was always a uh, challenge for me and i took it very positively okay okay so that way only i was able to motivate, motivate myself and i was able to put even more effort in next attempt okay so actually we should think it that way actually that way. Okay. so if Uh, if 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 anyone is not able to clear it in first attempt second okay. attempt or th- third attempt we should not get demoralized demoralized we should again collect our whole energy and again get ready for uh, this thing okay. 